Hi everyone, this is Kira from Evolute and I'm back for the next tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to control the movement of vertices in your mesh. This tutorial is about aligning groups of vertices with planar structural elements. Real life example would be flow slabs. In our example, we want to align these polylines with a specific plane. This coplanarity function is a very helpful tool for controlling movements of vertices in your mesh, which means it allows you to flag a set of vertices that you want to become coplanar to a specified plane. Ideally, we want to align all these so they are more straight and aligned with some planar structural elements for an easy build. For this session, you might want to download and follow along with the mesh I've provided for this session so we are on the same settings and you can compare the results better. First step, we need to think of the edges we need or want to align to a plane. In our example, it would be neat to have these polylines here aligned to the YZ plane. So let's get started with the first polyline to our right by selecting the polyline with the Select Mesh Polyline tool. Remember, you can always group one polyline at the same time. Each polyline needs to be in a different group for the optimizer to work. Go to Set Vertices Coplanar. Next, you will be given options for defining the plane. For this mesh, we want to set the plane type for this polyline to parallel to YZ plane. You can leave the importance for this settings to 1 for now. This value will be multiplied by the value in the overall settings for the coplanarity of the mesh, so it will give you the opportunity to define the optimization in more details. Confirm your selection and wait for the confirmation command line pre-selected groups to set become coplanar. The next step is to set the value for the coplanarity in the optimization option as for the other settings. Set the value for coplanarity to 0.5. Let's increase the iteration to a big higher number so we can see the effect a bit faster and can adapt your changes. If you want to have more control over the process, just keep this number low. Run the optimizer. It probably won't make a huge difference here since this polyline is pretty straight already, but it will give us something to work on for the other edges. Now let's go back to the coplanarity options and get the plane that the vertices are aligned with. Select Show Plane. And this is the plane that the optimizer is returning for the selected vertices. As you can see, all the vertices are really close to this plane. But you can also have the options to choose a fixed plane to align the vertices with. Let's move this plane a bit further in and consider it as our fixed plane. We apply the same procedure here by selecting the vertices we want to align with that plane. Let's take this for example. Instead of parallel to a prefix plane, we're going to choose the fixed plane options this time. Confirm the selection to move to the selection of the plane. Remember the vertices along here. Now optimize. As you can see, the optimize is trying hard to align these vertices with the plane as close as possible. Obviously, you can do the same thing for the top bit by aligning the vertices to the exit plane. The general plane option will not have any constraints. The optimizer will determine the best fitting plane for the vertices. As a result, you might want to have something similar to this which is a bit neater than the mesh we started with. Have fun with this coplanarity optimization. Thanks for watching and see you next time.